Hey everyone, my name is Tobias Siegel with Promo Life, and today I'm going to talk about the O3 Art Plus Ozone Generator. Now, if you're a medical professional or a dentist, this is a great unit for you. Uh, before we get started, I do want to go over the features, and these include a digital interface, two ozone out ports, a countdown timer, it includes a built-in ozone destruct system, and it can also be operated via foot pedal. So now, let's go over how to operate. Okay, so now to operate this unit, we're first gonna make sure we have our oxygen source attached, our power adapter plugged into the back of the unit, and any additional tubing hooked up to it. To power on the unit, we're gonna hit the power button. And what, what it's gonna do is it's gonna default to P-01, which is considered low power mode. To raise the ozone concentration, we're gonna hit the up button. If you wanna lower the ozone concentration, you can hit the down button. And to start the ozone production, we're going to hold the up slash set button down for three seconds. And you're going to notice that the red light turns blue. Blue means ozone is being produced. And now you can freely adjust the ozone concentration as needed by hitting the up or the down button. Okay, so now let's go over how to use the secondary ozone port. So the secondary ozone port is also known as your auxiliary port. And basically what this does is it gives you a secondary access point of ozone. So having a secondary access point of ozone is great if you wanna fill syringes, use a dental handpiece or another application that requires ozone. So to operate, we're gonna take a syringe, we're gonna attach it to the auxiliary out, and we're gonna hit the auxiliary switch. And as you can see, that syringe is starting to fill. To stop the fill, we're just gonna turn that switch off. The other great feature with this unit is it comes with a foot pedal. So to operate the foot pedal, this gives you hands-free operation. Simply press it down and it will begin filling that syringe again. To stop the fill, just let off the foot pedal. And that's how you operate the secondary ozone port. So now I wanna go over how to use the timer built into this ozone generator. So right now I have ozone being produced and I have the power mode set to P-04. Now this is important because you want to set your ozone concentration prior to setting the timer. So I wanna show you that this concentration does get saved. So when we switch to the timer function by hitting the mode button, you can see it defaults to one minute. I wanna switch back over to the power function and it'll show you that it, the power mode is saved. As you can see, it's still at P-04. So now let's switch back over to the timer function and it defaults to one minute. Now let's just bump it up to five minutes. And to start the ozone production, we're gonna hold the up slash set button down for three seconds. As you can see, the red light turned blue, which means ozone is being produced. And at the end of the five minutes, what's gonna happen is the blue light is gonna turn red, which is gonna shut the ozone concentration off. And that's how you operate the timer. Okay, so now let's go over how to use the timer in conjunction with the auxiliary port. Basically what this is gonna do is we're gonna utilize the timer to shut off all flow from exiting the auxiliary port. This is great if you're filling an insufflation bag or you have some accessory that requires you to shut off the flow. So for this demonstration, we're gonna use an insufflation bag. So I'm gonna attach it to the auxiliary port. And right now I have the timer set to one minute and I'm going to start the ozone production by holding the up slash set button down for three seconds. Now the light's blue, so ozone is being produced. And to start filling the bag, we're gonna hit the auxiliary switch. Okay, we're back. So we have about 10 seconds left with filling this bag. And as you can see, it's getting pretty full. So as soon as that countdown hits zero, it's gonna stop all flow from entering that bag. There you have it. Now we don't have to worry about the bag over inflating and popping. So that's how you use the timer in conjunction with the auxiliary switch.
Okay, so now I wanna go over how to use the internal ozone destruct system on this ozone generator. So right now we have it hooked up to the external destruct system and to hook it up, simply unscrew the tubing and attach it to where it says destruct. So all the ozone gas is now being pumped into the generator and destroyed. This is great, especially if you want a smaller footprint on the table and if you wanna use the auxiliary port. So in addition, the other cool feature with the destruct system is you can use it as a syringe dumping port. But to do this, you do have to have it hooked up to the external destruct system. So once that's hooked up, you can now take that syringe that's full of ozone gas and dump it into the destruct system if you need to eliminate some of that ozone. So there you have it. That's how you use the internal ozone destruct system on this ozone generator. So I wanna go over a really cool feature that we've added to this ozone generator called our built-in pressure relief system. So as ozone exits the generator, and if you've ever accidentally blocked the tubing, what this does is this puts a tremendous amount of pressure on the internal components of the generator. So this can affect the life of your unit and could possibly blow off tubing internally. The built-in pressure relief system bleeds off any extra pressure that could pose issues. So that's how we've solved these issues and made this a better unit because of that. So to recap, the O3 Arc Plus features include 10 power settings, a built-in ozone destruct system, two ozone out ports, a 60-minute shutoff timer, hands-free foot pedal operation, pressure relief system, lower lock connections, universal voltage, ultra stable ozone production, over 100 micrograms per milliliter at 1 16th liters per minute, an easy to use interface, and an integrated timer with an auxiliary port. If you have any questions about this product, please feel free to give us a call at 888-742-3404 or visit our website at www.promolife.com. And don't forget to check us out on Facebook and Instagram.